up YouTube. Just woke up. It's about 7.30 a.m. All dressed, all good to go for the day. Still in Phoenix. And I'm gonna see what kind of deals I can get today. Not talking too loud just because there's a bunch of other people in here and I don't want them to ask me why I'm shooting a video and talking to myself into my phone while I pour myself juice. Oh, look at that. Just spilled the orange juice. It's kind of frothy though, so it should be good. But yeah, this should be an interesting day. What is up YouTube? Luke Deutschlander here with another video. If you guys like my videos, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. It is day two out here in Phoenix, Arizona. It's a beautiful day. It's supposed to be like 70 degrees out. Um, staying at this hotel, it's pretty nice. Got this little uh, grill out area here, which is pretty cool because I'm from Wisconsin and I actually really like grilling out. It's a pretty nice grill, so I'll stay in this grill. And I really kind of want to grab some food today and grill out because back home, grilling out is just a myth right now because of the fact that we got two feet of snow on the ground and it's like negative 15 below, so it's totally terrible. Um, just show you guys a little uh, video of the pool. It's kind of nice. Um, you know, I'm not staying at like a thousand dollar a night hotel, but it's a pretty nice hotel. Uh, I think it's like a Best Western, so it's a chain. Uh, we had a bad experience the other day at another hotel that we tried staying at, and man, I, I just, uh, anytime I travel now, I'm gonna try and stick to chains just because you never know, even if the hotel looks nice. The other hotel we were looking at actually looked nicer online, and then we got there and it was just terrible. But anyways, guys, back to business. So yesterday was my first day down here in Phoenix, Arizona. And I actually managed to pick up two sealed iPhone XRs, and then I also picked up an iPhone XR open box, and it's basically brand new because the plastic is still on the screen. So it's pretty sweet. I just kind of wanted to post a little progress update for you guys because like I said, in 2019, I'm gonna be committing to you guys and making sure that I post a video a day. And if I don't post a video a day, one lucky subscriber at the end of year 2019 is going to get $1,000 cash. I will personally fly out to you and I will hand you the $1,000. The video will go on YouTube and I will be defeated. But I'm a grinder, I'm a hustler, and I'm motivated and I'm persistent, and also I'm trying to inspire you guys, so what kind of person would I be if I can't even keep my own promises to you guys? So I'm gonna try and do a video a day in 2019. That thousand dollars will kind of keep me accountable, and if I'm not accountable, well, hopefully it'll make somebody's day or somebody's year when I fly out and give them a thousand dollars because I totally forgot to upload a video one day. But I'm gonna try and do them once a day, um, I'm aiming for five days a week because you know sometimes on weekends I do have personal stuff going on But regardless of that, I'm gonna give you guys a video every single day So every single day guys in 2019 so I hope you guys really like that and I hope you guys are out there flipping phones And I just wanted to shoot these videos here in Arizona because I really 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 cannot stress enough that you guys can do this phone flipping business anywhere you want it doesn't matter where you are. You can be in California, you can be in Florida, you can be in Arizona, you can be in Minnesota, you can be in Wisconsin, Chicago. You can do this business from literally anywhere. So if you guys are out there and you wanna start a side hustle, I'm telling you, phone flipping is the way to go. Now there's other guys out there who are on YouTube and this and that and blah, 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 blah. But it's like most of them don't even get out of their hometown. So it's like go travel, like show, show your students what you can do with this. And that's kind of what I'm doing. I want to show you guys that you, you can literally travel anywhere and do this business anywhere. All you need literally is a nicer smartphone. Like I have an iPhone XS. I didn't even bring my laptop down here and I've been posting ads off of my iPhone and responding to all my messages via my iPhone. So you literally just need a cell phone and a plane ticket. Boom. Leave your area. Go travel. Post some ads before you go and you guys can phone flip right out of that area. So it's pretty cool. Um, but anyways, guys. Just kind of wanted to, you know, just show you what's going on hanging out in Phoenix. If you guys are down here or any of you guys see this video, uh, feel free to hit me up. So maybe we can hang out, grab some coffee, talk some business, book a business strategy, whatever. Maybe we could do something for like two, three hours. So I always like helping people grow mindset wise. But anyways, guys, um, it's coming up on like, I don't know, I think I started the video at like 7.30 here. I've shot a few videos because people keep walking by me and asking me what I'm doing. So I got a good solid video here and nobody in the background because everybody's wondering what this random guy's doing uh, at 7.30 in the morning with a camera in front of his face outside talking to himself. So, <laughs> but um, yeah, guys, so if you guys are watching this, make sure you guys go out there, go get those phones, post them ads, and just make sure you guys are really, really trying I mean, if you guys are persistent and consistent, you guys will get phones. Um, you know, yesterday was an awesome day. I got $600 in profit in one day, which I mean, I can't complain. It was my first day down here. Not to mention, I didn't get checked into this hotel till around four o'clock because we had some mishap with the other hotel. So $600 profit in one day, it's not bad. It was a great deal. And then on top of that, guys, 
um, you know, I got more ads posted today and I'm actually going to walk into the hotel right after I get off of this video and I'm going to be posting more ads. So just keep that in mind, guys. If you guys aren't getting leads, post, 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 post Malone. Just kidding. But post more ads and you guys will get uh, a lot of phones. That's really all it takes. Just make sure you're posting your ads. Make sure they're sticking. Switch it up a little bit too. Um, and then another thing you guys can do if you guys' ads are always getting flagged, uh, something that I actually personally like to do is I will actually go on Craigslist I'll look at my competitors ads that are sticking and I'll actually copy their ads word for word And I will take their pictures and then I will paint or Photoshop edit them So that it's my phone number in the ad and not theirs And what's funny is there's people out there who actually pay people to go and flag ads or they'll purchase like a Craigslist bot that flags ads but if you guys take your competitors ads and you use the exact same picture except for in the text if it says your number your ad will never get flagged because when the bot goes through they think that it's the exact same ad other than that number usually they do not get flagged so basically it's kind of copying the old saying of you know don't go fix it if it's already working so if something's working why not duplicate it in fact uh, guy kawasaki somebody that i read i really like a lot of his books he says that a lot of the best business models are actually not original they're actually um business models that are kind of failing that are copied by more intelligent people and then they're just basically remade so it's basically taking the wheel that's already rolling and then adding some spikes to it something like that you know just just another way of thinking guys um and i really like guy kawasaki but if you guys are struggling with ads just be persistent and then try copying your competitors ads and switching your numbers up and see if that helps as far as getting your ads flagged so just a little trick that i do and when i came down here before i came down to phoenix uh, that's actually what I did. I just went right on Craigslist around here I took everybody's pictures and I put my own number in them and I've been getting leads like crazy I mean my phone is just blowing up and then I had that one pretty good deal yesterday So it definitely shows but anyways guys I'm gonna go back inside and I'm going to post some ads I might shoot a little video of me posting ads if I can however the computers here are in the lobby <laughs> And um, I want to bang some out on the computers here rather than on my phone just to type really quickly and get a bunch more ads out and see if I can get some deals today. Luckily today, I am wearing a pocket on my t-shirt. So if I uh, pick up any phones today, I will stick the phone in my pocket and I will do my best to get a live deal of me, you know, picking up the phones. Yesterday I did do a Facebook live video and I actually do have a video for you guys um, showing me picking up those three iPhone XRs. So anyways guys, I hope this uh, kind of motivates you and hope you guys get out there and get those phones today. I'll see you guys in the next clip. If not, this might be the end of the video just depending on what kind of footage I get today. But either way guys, a video a day 2019. I'm gonna give you guys lots of knowledge, lots of inspiration and lots of motivation to get you guys out there flipping phones and once again if you guys like my videos make sure you like share and subscribe i uh, would love to have you as a subscriber and also if i do mess up and don't give you guys a video a day in 2019 uh starting when i post my first video in 2019 um i will give one lucky subscriber at the end of the year one thousand dollars cash and i will fly out in person and i will give you the money in person so all right guys i'll see you guys in the next clip Deutschlander here. It is Tuesday again, and I just kind of wanted to shoot a quick video of me posting the ads on Craigslist. Like I said earlier in the video, I said I was going to go post ads on the computer. So this is something that I do, guys, especially when I travel to new areas that helps your Craigslist ad stick. So I'm going to be posting this ad in the uh, cell phones by owner section, which is a really hard section to get your ads to stick in, but here's what I do. So I actually post iPhone 7 AT&T mint condition and I listed for 180 bucks, which is a fair price to list an iPhone 7 for. Sitting in Phoenix and Mesa location, there's a zip code, and then when I put in my ads, it says iPhone 7 for sale, and then it also says we also buy new used crack block broken smartphones, any condition, any phone company, new financed, okay, any quantity, cash available, top cash prices paid, and then it has my phone number down below. Now, the kicker is, what do you put for a picture to make sure that your ad doesn't get flagged? And then we're going to go over here to Maps, and it's going to ask to find you on the Maps. I always do Continue or Skip. I never locate it. Um, and then right here, it's going to say Add Image. I'm going to go here, and I'm actually going to post a picture up of an iPhone 7. But the trick here is that the iPhone 7 has my business card in it, so that tells people right there that I'm paying cash for smartphones and electronics, but I'm also selling one. So this is kind of like a gray post or kind of being in the gray area. And what it does is it tricks Craigslist into thinking that I actually have a phone for sale. 
So that's kind of awesome. I mean, if I have a phone for sale, but I'm also advertising to pay cash for smartphones and electronics, typically these ads will not get flagged. And then I'm also going to upload one more picture too, of course, just for good measure, which is just the back of the phone and then also has my business card again. So got two pictures here posting for cell phones by owner in the Phoenix area. So it's pretty awesome. And these should stick. These always work for me. Um, always has. So this is just a little trick I just wanted to show you guys. Um, this is just kind of the stuff that you guys will see in my course. Little tricks like this. But um, yeah, it kind of works good. Another thing you can do too if you really want to be incognito about it or you're worried about getting, getting banned. So you can see down here I actually put that I do pay cash or I buy phones, but what you can do is you can actually just make the entire description about the iPhone 7. Just basically say it's an iPhone 7, it's for AT&T, it's in mint condition, can meet any time, $180 cash, call or text, and then put your number instead of putting this. And the reason for that being is sometimes there's areas where Craigslist is a little bit harder or people are flagging your ads, but if you make the template description actually describing the phone in the picture, well then there's no reason for Craigslist or anybody to flag your ad. However, since you still have your business card in the photo, you still should get leads from it. I've done that before and it works every time. So, just wanted to show you guys, I'm um, just posting ads out in Craigslist and then I'm gonna start my day here. Me and my girlfriend are gonna go hang out and just go do some fun stuff and I'm just gonna wait for people to text or call me and get some leads today and hopefully we can pick up some phones and I can get those on video for you guys. But just kinda wanted to show you what I'm posting on Craigslist and just kind of wanted to give you guys a couple tips and ideas and hopefully this will help you guys out with Craigslist a little bit. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, how's it going? Not too bad. All right, so XS Max 256 gig. Let's check it out quick. That's all right. Alright. Hello. Hi. Oops. Do you wanna I'm sorry, I asked for it again. Okay, perfect. Just gotta check the gigabytes and stuff and everything. You said it was a two fifty six gig, right? I don't think it's a two fifty six. Okay. Well, I just know on the phone you said the max was 256 gig, I want to say, so I just wanted to make sure that it was, so, let's see. Other than that, nothing wrong with it, just the, obviously the cracked glass on the back. Sure. Alright, yeah, it looks good other than the fact that this one, this is actually a 64 gig, it's not a 256 gig, so it's your call, but I mean, on, if it's not a 256 gig, you're looking at like 40 bucks less, basically, so you're looking at 340 for this one, 260 for that one, does that still work for you? Because it's showing me 64 gig right there. Well, when we talked on the phone for a second, and then the, the note is just a 64 gig, correct? I'm assuming it's the basic one. You don't. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, the, I had a note for a little while, and I went right back to iPhone. So, it was not... wasn't a pleasant experience. I just think the iPhones are just a better phone, honestly. Right. Right. If you can do that, I'll buy both of them. Um, just because I was expecting it to be a 256 gig, and she is pretty shattered. But you know, I try and give the best quotes I can over the phone, obviously, just because it's I can't actually see them. But and then you've got the iCloud password and everything, right? You can remove that. It's just gonna ask you to sign out. Gotta have the passwords cleared and everything and all that. Alright.
How's your day going other than... It's good. I'm off today, so great. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you guys got some pretty nice weather down here from Wisconsin, so... Oh, yeah. So you know the snow struggle then, don't you? It's terrible. We've got two feet back home right now, another eight inches that just came today, and then it's negative ten degrees out, so... Yeah, I think it's like negative nine degrees, we have about nine inches. Oh, that's terrible. Well, yeah, we're planning on maybe moving down here, at least that's the plan, so... You know I'd rather be cold. <laughs> really? Yeah. What? Well, that'd be okay, but I just, I can't do the snow. I'm done with the snow. We've got a love-hate relationship, so... Makes sense. Yeah, because when you're hot, you can't really cool down that easy. You <laughs> can always wrap yourself in blankets, though. When you're hot, you can't really strip down layers. Like, you got shirt, pants, and then it's over. You're either getting cooled or you're going to stay hot, and it sucks. Yep, yeah, I'm the same way. I feel like I'm a million degrees all the time. <laughs> Tell me, do I need Wi-Fi to reset this? The iPhone, you shouldn't know as long as the cellular connection's going good. So, let's just see what it says there. Yeah, just put your password in and we'll see what happens. Okay. Can I check the Note 9 out then? Alright, thanks. Yeah, because I definitely need the iCloud off of that or I can't really do a whole lot with it. What does it say when you enter in the password? I don't have the password. Oh. Oh, yeah. Verification failed. There is an error. Let me see it once. Does it not have cellular service on it? No. Okay. Do you have hotspot on that phone, by chance? Because if not, yeah, we'll... We will need Wi-Fi to get that, that passcode off. I might. If not, I wonder if they've got Wi-Fi here at the mall. I know they do at Walmart. Take a walk over to Walmart. Yeah, it's already to be difficult, but it's just the only way to basically get that off there. Do you have hotspot on your phone? Let's see. Basically, we're just kind of checking out the mall. Just we didn't realize that they weren't open till noon. We got here and then we went in. Well, they're open, but there's like no stores, so no stores with anything. Where's a good mall to go to? Either I go to Channel Flash or I stop South Fashion Square. Hmm. I heard Scottsdale's pretty good. Yeah, yep, we're going to be down here for the whole week, so. Alright. Okay, we're on Wi-Fi now, looks like. So, now, yeah, you should be able to go in. Everything's popping up, of course. Alright, there, now you should be able to sign out. And then it'll ask you for the password. There we go. 
Then I'm just going to reset this Note 9 if that's alright. And do you know this password? <laughs> okay. Check this one out then. I'll give this one back to you. Alright, looks good. iCloud's cleared. Good, good. And it's just without the password on there, it's Google locked, and I can still buy it, but it's just, it's going to be a decent amount less, you know, because with that Google account, then when I resell it, I can't really, somebody won't really be able to use it, you know, it'll just be a parts phone, and it's already cracked up, so, but. Which I'm sure you understand if you can't get it, but not much I can do then. I love when people do that. It's a Gmail account. It's a, it's a Gmail account. No, I need you now. I'm here now. And what's the passcode on this? Because I'm just going to remove it. Alright. Sit down now. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm 
just read her the password, babe? 3QO0PGP Well, this one's all good to go. I'm just make sure that this boots up and everything's fine. I'll reset everything. So, all right. Yeah, it says it's erasing. So it's good enough for me. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six. I just came out the ATM. So, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Matter Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, if you get anything else towards, I mean, the end of the week, I'm gonna be here till Friday at like noon. It, it, even if it's new, used, cracked, locked, broken, obviously prices it's depend. Yeah, I do. You wanna sell that one? Series four. Series four. 
Um, can I see your phone? Look it up. Mine's being silly. Let's see. Series four. Is it uh, anything wrong with it? It's not cracked or nothing, right? Okay. Let's see here. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. And is it cellular too? Like, is it, can you use it with the cellular? Is it just the Wi-Fi one? I think it's cellular. Okay. For AT&T also? Mm -hmm. Okay. And is it a, it's a 38 millimeter? Looks like. Okay. <laughs> you don't know. The series four. Oh, don't, have a... don't have the box with you by chance, do you? I don't have Okay. Not a huge deal, but just figured it out. I know, right? Oh, okay. Your little guy is not happy. <laughs> He's usually at daycare. Uh. I'm usually at work. I could give you 220 bucks cash for it. If you want it gone. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Didn't pick up? No. All right. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, if you're going home or whatever, send me a picture of the box. There should be a model number in the back of the box, and then I can give you an exact price. And it's in good shape, obviously. So. Okay. Well, yeah. Let me know. What was your name again? Cicely. Cicely. Nice. Well, thanks. Appreciate it. And just send me a text anytime. So, all right. Have a good day. You too. Alright guys, so that was a super long deal. The lady didn't have any of the passwords off the phones, but we got them all removed, which is good. Um, but anyways, that was really good. So the lady showed up and then the gigabyte size on the XS Max was lower. I thought it was going to be 256 gigabyte. Yeah, that would be good. Power Raid, yeah. Blue! Or whatever you want, get both of them. Um, <laughs> So anyways, I ended up getting them for 60 bucks less, so I got a Note 9 that's cracked and an XS Max 64 gig cracked for 600 bucks. Uh, the XS Max alone is selling for like 550 to 580, so easy money there. Should be, like I said, two to $300 profit. And then on top of that, she was thinking on selling me her Apple Watch, which she's got the box at home. Looks like it's brand new, guys. So I'll probably be buying that from her, I'm sure, later this week. Seemed like, you know, she wanted to sell some stuff, which is good, and I let her know I'm gonna be here throughout the end of the week, so. Should be pretty awesome, and I'm glad I caught that on the phone as far as the gigabyte size being less, because had I paid 660, I still would have made a profit on both of them, but it would have been less money. So that's just an extra 60 bucks in my profit. 
that goes back into my pocket. <laughs> so anyhow, guys, uh, I'll keep shooting today. If I end up picking up more phones today, I will do that. I am out here on vacation. I'm not really trying to pick up phones, but I've got ads posted. And if the customer comes my way, I will take the deal every single time. So, so long as my girlfriend doesn't get too angry. Angry girlfriend. I am angry. <laughs> She's having problems with the buttons on the on the machine over there. But anyways, we're gonna get some power aids and then we're gonna check out the mall. So, all right guys, we'll see you in the next clip. Uh, and if not, if I don't pick anything else up today, I'll probably shoot another video tomorrow. It's been awesome so far in Phoenix. If you guys like my videos, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. It's beautiful out here.